Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Victorian inspired phone cases. I'm sharing three ideas. I'm going to be using clear paper and these are called acetate sheets. I'm going to be putting my phone case which is transparent on top of it and I'm just going to mark the shape of my phone case and then I'm just going to cut what I marked. Make sure for this one that your phone case is clear and is clean. You're pretty much going to be able to see your phone through the case and I'm going to be making that twice. I'm going to be working backwards which means I'm going to be working on the back of this so just turn it upside down. For two of them is pretty much going to be the same base. I'm going to be taking some pink and a toothpick and I'm just going to be painting some roses and this is how I'm going to be doing this. So basically you want to drag like the shape of a rose which is pretty much you know a roll but as you can see the shape is not like perfect. I'm just basically dipping the toothpick into the paint and when I do that you can see that it creates like a nice effect we could call it. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing all throughout my phone case. So these are the roses. I'm just going to add as many roses as I want to have on my uh, phone case. I'm going to be doing the same thing in both acetate sheets. I'm going to be mixing some pink and some white because I'm going to be creating a lighter shade of pink. I'm going with my toothpick and add some pink on like the empty areas that you see right there. So I guess completely in a way this rose is painted that I just added previously and I'm just going to be adding pink in the middle of those rolls we could call them. Towards the end I'm just going to be adding that on the like edges of them. And remember we're working upside down so right now we see nothing that resembles roses but it's going to be looking pretty cute at the end. Then I'm going to be using some green and my toothpick and I'm going to draw some leaves. Two dots and then just dragging the paint towards a meeting part like I'm doing right here. So for one acetate sheet I'm just going to stop right here. I'm not going to be adding anything else but for this one I'm just going to be taking my black acrylic paint and I'm going to be using the back of a brush. This is going to be my dotting tool and I'm just going to add dots wherever I feel like it needs a dot to complete the phone case. And I'm just going to let it dry. Once it's dry I'm going to be turning this upside down or just as it's supposed to be and you can see the image looks like almost stickers rather than just hand painted with acrylic paint. And this is the first uh, idea that I wanted to share. I honestly love it. I think it looks cute, looks clean, looks classic, looks delicate. I don't know, I just really like it. For the other acetate sheet that we did the same thing as far as the roses go, I'm just going to take a sharpie, the finest tip of the sharpie, and I'm just going to mark some dots because those are going to be my lines. I'm not going to be exact as far as the measurement goes here. I'm just going to by eye and those dots are just marks to where my lines are going to be. So I'm just going to be adding lines basing myself from those dots. And once I have done that, I'm going to be taking a brush, you know, a detailed brush. I'm just going to be painting this with black acrylic paint. I'm just going to be painting every other line. I'm going to be giving this few coats until it's opaque enough. Still on the back of the phone here, I'm just going to be painting the one with the stripes. I'm going to be customizing my own white, which is not going to be white, it's going to be like really, really light beige. For that, I'm going to be mixing my white and my yellow. Just a tiny bit of yellow. Start with almost nothing and then you go from there. And I'm doing this because I don't have like this shape and acrylic paint already done for me and I'm just uh, covering the transparent lines as you can see there. And then I'm just going to let it dry and I'm just going to be placing this in between my phone case and my phone as I did before. And this is what this one looks like. I really like this one as well. I think it looks fun and still delicate and vintage but with a bit more going on. This one I'm going to be painting the whole thing. I'm using a phone case as you can see that it's really old. It doesn't matter what color of a phone case that you use here. You can just start off with a white one because we're going to be painting this. I did more of the paint that I did and I'm just covering the whole thing because I couldn't decide which design I liked the most. I wanted to try them both in the same phone case and this is basically what I'm doing here. I'm just going to divide you know my phone case into two with my sharpie, my ruler and I'm just going to be doing the same thing as far as the dots go. I'm going to be doing the same with the ruler and the uh, line with the sharpie and then I'm just going to paint every other line. Then I'm going to be painting the edge of my phone case but just the bottom part in black. I'm not going to go all the way around the whole phone case and I'm just going to be painting half of it on the front of the phone case as well. I'm going to be doing the same things that you saw me doing previously. You know what I mean? I'm going to be making my lighter shade of pink, going to be adding those roses, 
but in this case I'm just going to be adding the roses all throughout my phone case then going with my toothpick and my darker pink and I'm just going to add like the petal parts I'm going to be doing the same thing with the uh, green and the leaves. Final step though, because there's nothing covering this on the top, I'm just gonna be using this gloss by Sculpey and a brush, and I'm just gonna be covering the whole thing. This is just to make my design look shiny, last longer, looks prettier. It just brings the whole thing together. And yeah, these are the three designs that I wanna share. So hopefully this wasn't a super long video. I got inspired from Amber from Sweet Ams. I love her channel. She decorates cookies, she's an artist, she's amazing, but in this one, Video that I'm gonna link below she was wearing this uh, stickers I believe they were with really cute designs on her nails so her nails inspire me to just create those designs but in form cases and yeah I love these three designs I think they are super cute and unique hopefully you like them as much as I did if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff I upload twice a week and click on the bell so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll take you later and take care bye guys